Hello friends! This review is dedicated to the next generation of the non-professional transceivers or professional walkie-talkies. As you know, a very popular model on the internet was Baofeng UV5R, but the manufacturers from China decided to improve the quality and produce another similar device. This is Quansheng UVR52. First of all, let's check its weight and length less than 250 grams and the length is less than 28 centimeters. Now the device comes in a such nice box. Let's open it. This is the manual. The device itself. Two contacts, plus and minus. No third contact. the battery and this battery has increased capacity of the antenna we have here two screws and also charger. The advantage of which is that you can use either this way or plug directly in the battery. But in this case you will not be able to determine whether the battery is charged or not. In case this light emitting diode is green, the battery is fully charged. The quality of each part is really very good. Excellent plastic, excellent rubber, also this part, very good knobs. As to the charger, input 85 250 volts AC, output 9 volts 500 milliamps. Let's turn it on and check its main functions. So the same functions as we had in Baofeng, AB, bandwidth, Channel mode. Menu. squelch, then step in frequencies, also we can change this frequencies. Well, this is transmission power output, battery saving mode, vox mode, well, this is the bandwidth, well, this is backlight, 5 seconds, we can change it, we can receive two channels simultaneously, beeper of the keypad, well, this is transmit over time, DCS receiving, CTCSS receiving, DCS transmitting, CTCSS transmitting, voice can be changed to the Chinese or can be turned off. Well, this is the names, well, this is signal code, scan resume, scan resume mode, PTTID, PTTID prolonged time, well, this is display of the A channel frequency, display of the B channel, we've selected frequency, well, this is a busy channel lock, in case we get the frequency there is no possibility to transmit on the same frequency. Keypad auto lock, well, this is a frequency deviation setting and correspondingly offset frequency, here we can store the channels, 
here delete the channels I'll this is the display color waiting mode purple receiving mode green and transmitting mode sky blue oh, this is alarm mode so in such case we can press alarm and we have only alarm here but also we can adjust this one and send the alarm with the help of the radio transmission bandwidth oh, this is dual watch operation Oh, this is tail tone elimination oh, this is a repeater tail tone elimination oh, this is a similar function oh, this is power on display oh, this is roger signal on or off and this is the reset function as in Baofeng UV5R the second function of the alarm button is FM radio oh, the sound is really pretty good This is monitor. And in case of push to talk, it will change the color. One of the advantages of such transceivers is that you can program them manually without any PC. I have no need to compare this device with the Baofeng UV5R as you can see some reviews on the internet which prove that Quansheng is much better. But anyway, I wanted to define the distances with or without obstacles at which the pair of Quansheng devices would work and how they would work. And I have compared Quansheng with the Baofeng BF888S and the results became very interesting. Of course, they were tested in the same frequency range and audio quality of Quansheng is really very decent, but in some cases the Baofeng device received the signal really terribly and also in some cases the same occurred with Quansheng. So I'll prepare the corresponding data and you will see it in one of my next videos. In case of questions please write them in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck.